Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In the last video, we talked about content hugging priority and content compression resistance priority in Swift. And this video is going to be the second part of that particular video because one of our viewer asked us to make this video about the same topic, but this time for a vertical aligned views. So without any further ado, let's get started. In this video, we're gonna talk about vertical case and where we're going to use the vertical parameter of these particular uh, priorities which are content hugging priority and content compression resistance priority so one of our viewers just requested or asked us to make this video so here it is so guys uh, in this one we have these two labels again and we have given some constraints like the top constraint for the upper label leading trailing and for the second one we have given again leading trailing at the bottom constraint and we have also given some vertical spacing between these labels so as you can see right here we have already some ambiguities but uh, let me also make some values uh, to change like i want to make this label to have some dynamic height so for that i don't need to give it as explicit number of line i will make it zero for that case so if you have already given it one so make it zero first now for the second one i, I also want this to have dynamic height so i'll also make it zero now we will go to the main issue which is some ambiguity in the priority so if you tap right here in the left panel you would see that there is some content priority ambiguity it is already saying and it's saying that set vertical hugging priority it's saying that decrease vertical hugging priority of label which is the upper label i believe from 251 to 250 to make it grow before other views so what it, what it is saying is if you just reduce the uh, value of content hugging priority what it allows is it allows it to have more you know uh, space than it really needs which is its intrinsic content size intrinsic content size is ui views property which allows the ui view to take its size according to the content it contains so for this ui label it has some text right so it will take the space that this text will require to have so that is intrinsic content size of that ui label but in this case, if we change the content hugging priority of this label, it will take more space than required. So that is what it is saying to us to remove the ambiguity. So for that, you need to go here in the size inspector. And there you will see that we have content hugging priority, content compression resistance priority. And right now it's talking about the content hugging priority. And in this case, we're gonna change the content hugging priority for the vertical parameter. So we will change it to 250, let's see. Now it's saying that you are good to go. We don't see any of the conflicts right here. So we have almost you know, removed all the ambiguities. But what if we have some more text? Because right now we having an uh, ideal case. We have just a uh, label written inside both the labels. But what if I have some more text inside the first label? So let's just write some more text inside it. Now the conflict arise again. Now if you see in the left panel, we are having some issues with the vertical compression resistance so it's saying that decrease vertical compression resistance of the first label from 750 to 749 to make it get clipped before other views but what if i don't want this to get clipped because content compression resistance priority what it does is if we have more value for this content resistance uh, content compression resistance priority it tells uh, other views that see i have some more priority to not get compressed and to stop you from making me compressed so this priority is very crucial because if you want any of the view to get clipped or to get compressed first you will just have to uh, reduce content compression resistance priorities value uh, in whichever case required in this case it's saying that re reduce it for vertical case so if i make it 49 what will happen is it will get itself clipped because we have allowed it to get clipped but i don't want it to get clipped i want it to uh, take its space according to the content it has so for that you can see that i already told you that we have this uh, thing that these content priorities are not just about content hugging priority and content compression resistance it's also about the constraints that we have given it so in this case we have given many constraints and those constraints also have some priorities so i don't want this label to get compressed or any of these label to get compressed but what i want is i want my top constraint or maybe my bottom constraint to get 
uh, its value reduced according to the content any of the label is going to have so for that case i just go to the second label i'll go to its bottom constraint there you can see we have its priority to be 1000 by default all constraints have this priority number which is 1000 which is somewhat greater than this labels uh, content compression priority so basically if that value for this constraint has more uh, priority value than our content compression resistance value it's always thing that this bottom constraint will not get reduced if it compared to it content compression resistance so i'll try to make its value lesser than uh, only one value lesser than the value that these labels have for content compression resistance so i'll give it 749 because by default we have 750 for, for both of these labels in terms of uh, content compression resistance priority so i'll make it 749 here i hit enter then you'll see that we have this bottom constraint to have lower priority than these labels content compression resistance priority for the vertical case and what it does is it allows this uh, bottom constraint to get its value reduced whenever we have more uh, tags inside any of these labels so if i put more tags inside the second label as well so uh, let me just copy this one and you would see that there is no problem with the uh, constraint right now there are no constraint conflicts but i would say that if you have more tags inside it if you're going to have you know maybe 100 of lines of tags inside both these labels these labels will you know uh, try to reduce this bottom constraint and will go beyond the limits of our view which is not uh, the case and which should not be the case because it will not ultimately look good and it will just clip almost it, it would look like it, the labels have been clipped but they are basically going out of the bounds of our view which should not be the case in idle conditions so what you can prefer is if you have some label and you have if you suppose have this case you need to take a scroll view for that and that is scroll view will solve your problem because if you take the scroll view then you can allow your view to have more space because it will allow the scrolling so when you will have thousands of lines of label tags inside your label it will allow your view to look good at the same time and having all the functionalities working good so i hope you understand what i am saying let me just show you how it will look weird if we don't take any scroll view in this case so i'll just give some more text let me go to the attribute inspector so i'll give more text to it now so suppose i'll give this okay again and again okay you can see that the label is taking its space according to the text it has but after a certain limit will go out of the bounds which should not be the case for that you need to take a scroll view because in this case we are not assuming that you have this much of text but if you have you already know that you need a scroll view scroll view for that because you can see that this label is obviously out of the bounds of our view which should not be the case so guys i hope you understand this video you can also do the same with top constraint but i just told you about the ambiguity of the priority of constraints and ambiguity of the priority of particular parameters that we have for that case we have content hugging priority we have content compression resistance priority we have these constraints priority so you need to make changes according to your requirement in this case i just told you to reduce the value of uh, bottom constraint uh, priority but you can do uh, anything you want it's just about the thing that you want at the end of the day so guys i hope you like this video and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and if you didn't like this video please also let me know by commenting down below that why you didn't like the video and that's all for this video see you in the next one bye bye jai hind